Hundreds of journalists and political activists demonstrated on Friday in Senegal's capital to demand the release of a Senegalese journalist and government critic detained earlier this month. Journalist Union representatives marched along a boulevard near the Dhaka city center chanting Free Pape Al Niang. Niang, who runs the online news website Dhaka Matin and has been critical of President Marquez Sall's government, was arrested on November 6th. He was charged and placed under a detention order on November 9th. He is accused of having broadcast confidential messages about security arrangements surrounding the November 3rd interrogation of opposition politician Osamen Sonko over allegations of rap. Vice President of the Convention of Young Reporters of Senegal, Migui Marame Ndiaye, said they mobilized to demand Niang's release. Authorities also accused Niang of spreading false news. His detention has marked a wave of criticism from the press and civil society against the Senegalese president. Senegal has been ranked 73rd out of 180 countries on this year's World Press Freedom Index, compiled by Reporters Without Borders, down 24 places from last year. United Nations of announced on Friday, 18th November, a second shipment of Russian fertilizer will go to West Africa after a first attempt was blocked in European ports because of sanctions imposed due to the conflict in Ukraine. The move follows talks between Moscow and the UN. Secretary General of UN's Trade and Development Agency, Rebecca Greenspan, says there are 300,000 tons of fertilizer in the different European ports. She says the first shipping will get out of the Netherlands port going to Malawi through Mozambique. As part of the implementation of two agreements signed on 22nd July in Istanbul to ensure unhindered access to food and fertilizer from Ukraine and Russia, the WFP earlier announced it would facilitate the donation of 260,000 tons of fertilizer by the Russian fertilizer company Ural Ural Kali to the neediest countries in Africa with Malawi as its first destination. Agricultural products and fertilizers do not fall under the sanctions against Russia. But because of the risks linked to the conflict in the Black Sea, ship owners no longer wanted to hire their ships because they could not find insurance. After intensive discussions, Russia and the UN have established a framework for insurance, financial transactions and other matters which is compatible with the three existing sanctions put in place following the Russian invasion of Ukraine on 24th February.